In this tutorial we'll add camera and basic daylight. So first create camera and set up camera to the proper position. Find some interesting angle. Next turn on save frame view so you can see the renderable area. After that go to render settings and set up properties for render output. Choose HDTV video and then set up the size. Under options turn on force to sides. After that assign renderer. Select NVIDIA mental ray. Under global emulation in final gathering section change settings as shown in video. This will give you starting point for better output. In advanced option change noise filtering to ex extremely high or very high. Next go to render section and apply Michelin filter. Close rendering setup. Since I'm using daylight system I need to create some kinds of ground. My scene requires water. To do that I'll use simple plane and mental ray shader. Choose empty material and click standard button. Next navigate down to mental ray shaders and choose arch and design shader. Under select a tempo pull down menu find water. It's located under transparent materials. Apply material to your plane and next create daylight system. Click on system icon and daylight button. Click yes. Click and drag your sun system and click one more time to finalize. Switch to edit mode. Under daylight parameters you can find three different ways to position sun. The most useful are daytime location and manual. With daytime and location you can change location of the sun based on date time of the day and location anywhere on the planet earth. The second option is manual option. With manual option you can move sun by yourself. You can change direction of the sun and position on horizontal line. By doing that you affect the light condition. Under daylight parameters we need to apply plugins for sunlight and skylight. Those plugins are related to mental ray. So for sunlight MR sky and for skylight MR sky. So now you can render your scene preview and make adjustments to your sun position and light direction. Choose the best angle that works with your scene. Before I add more adjustments to the light condition I need to adjust waves color and size in material editor. First I'll make some small adjustment to diffuse level, reflection and refraction. Just a bit. Please remember after each time you made adjustment Pre-render your scene so you can see the full effect. Next I need to adjust the size of the waves. So I scroll down to special purpose maps, click on the bump and change the size for largest to smallest wave. And render to preview your final result. I also need to adjust steepness of the wave. And again preview the result. When I'm happy with my adjustments I can close material editor and I can open viewport configuration. I just want to switch my background preview. Next I change camera view so I can see horizon. By default horizon line in daylight system has gray color. We need to make adjustments. First thing that you can do is to resize your ground level. Next you need to scroll down to mental ray sky advanced parameters and adjust horizontal level. You can also change color of the ground. So switch the gray to the blue or whatever color is closer to your ground level. This will create a distinctive horizontal line. So adjust the height 
and the color of horizontal line to your liking. Next I'll adjust the softness of the shadows and image precision quality. After that I can make adjustments to red, blue tint and saturation for my sky. You can find those options under Sky Advanced Parameters. Next I need to make my image brighter and to remove dark shadows. I will use for that environment and effect options. Turn on photographic exposure and under exposure click pull down menu and choose first preset. In addition I'll make adjustments to saturation and to the film speed. All those options should be familiar to you if you ever took pictures with the camera or even play with Photoshop. At the end I'll make a little correction to the gamma. So make adjustments to color, saturation, to brightness of the light and make sure that the light condition is matching your initial sketch and idea. And then render your final image. Change image size first and then click render button. Save image in formats specified in project parameters. If needed open in Photoshop and make additional adjustments to color saturation and value. Thank you.